Flushing Services. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, today we're going to be addressing the situation with flushing toilets, so flushing paper, um, toilet paper and flushable wipes, baby wipes, all that down the toilets, um, and what happens after you flush the toilets, and this tip might just save you some money in the long run. Uh, before we get started, don't forget to follow our Instagram page, um, there'll be much more videos coming shortly. Right guys, so we're going to do a test now, which will show you what happens when you put toilet paper down the toilets and what happens if you put wet wipes, anything like that down the toilet. So first, to to just turn the toilet paper just into the bottle of water and then we'll put just a, just a single baby wipe into the bottle of water. Put lids on. on. So this is the, the wet wipe one. So what we do is we give it a shake and basically what it does it, it just it's like like when you flush the toilet, it shakes all the, the water about, shakes the paper about. Um, so yeah, this is what happens. Should be enough. And the toilet paper. Just show you. So put the standard standard toilet paper. Show you. We'll put it in. It's all just into wash. It's practically there's no, nothing there, it's just water, little, little, little bits. Which that, that's why you should, you should only use toilet paper because it will not clog your system up. So all this disintegrates. Um, and the wet wipe, put it in here. So you can see, and, uh, you can see the wet wipe is still all intact. So you got to imagine when they go down your drains, they just clog it up around bends, around elbows and stuff like that. And eventually we'll build up the will blocky drains, the will blocky toilets. So do not use them, only use toilet paper. Please guys, it will help, help yourself um, and save you money in the future. Thanks.